What's up everybody, Sandbur here. I messed up something. I built, <laughs> my god, I built this huge tourist area and it's at the top of the screen there. And I realized I wasn't recording the whole thing. And there I was like chatting to myself as I placed down buildings and things like that. And then I realized it wasn't recording. And oh my god. Uh, so I'm just going to show you guys the end product basically. So forget about speed builds. Forget about going through building with me. Who cares? This is just going to be a wrap up video. And we do need to manage just a few little things about the traffic. And that's basically it. But on the like on a completely different point, look at this view from here. Doesn't it look good? All of these buildings. We've got the main highway down in the right corner. We've got the high buildings. We've got some of the low buildings. We've got lots of trees. It looks really good. The style that I'm going for is, well, it's only half half done. Well, maybe a quarter done, I don't know. But I just wanna show you guys like the type of look that we're going for so far. So, here it is right now. What do you guys think? It's very basic, but I wanted to do something a little bit different, which is why I put in a huge canal right through the middle. Instead of just doing one large bit of just doing it normal stuff. I wanted to do something just a little bit different and um, I turned down my graphics as well just to, I think I said that in the last video, just to make it run a little bit easier and it's a real mixture of a lot of commercial, um, a, a lot of residential, that's what all of the larger buildings are just because they look like resorts and stuff like that but we're still going to do a lot more of resort buildings up in this area as well. Uh, in the last video was the amusement park which is down here and I started experimenting with different resort shapes so there's going to be lots of big buildings like this coming up in the future and they're going to be scattered all the way throughout this whole area. So let's go in and have a look at it all. You definitely need a good public transport connection, right? So there's two ferry stations. Well, there's actually three ferry stations. So we have this guy right here. And then as we go along, you guys can get a bit of a, a quick glimpse. Um, you have the train line there, of course. And then the other ferry station is down here, connected by pathway. Now, in terms of what we had done last time, which was basically just this, and I wanted to incorporate more of the um, the boats and yachts and things like that. So there's this one right here, which is actually copy and paste from this guy over here And then I tried to disguise it with some of these larger buildings and then you can also download some of these guys right here now I realized they there's a there's no actual connection, but um, They have to just jump or swim whatever they want to do and then we have this one here But this one's annoying though because if you place it on road level then the boats are like two meters down you've got to jump down and then I tried lowering them right down onto the water level and then they're like oh we're flooding we're flooding we're flooding so then I had to put it way up and you know what whatever don't don't talk to me don't want to talk to you okay so also this is actually what is what's this called again it is called the Coast Guard station I thought it, it looked really cool incorporating it into this build it fits in really well it's it's a little bit bright but you know what it's okay we've got a bit of a we've got a helicopter there I should have put a fence here actually, but you know what, that's fine. I throw in a, a couple of trees just to make it look a little bit less bright. And it, it really is right on the water level, so there's a little puddle here. Sometimes it floods when there's a wave, so right now the water is down because it, it was flooding a little bit, so I just put it down for the sake of this video. And also, also we're using this little ferry right here, and they do fit underneath. Um, and then this guy <laughs> up here, look at him, he goes right through the train thing. And this guy up here has enough uh, room to go under as well. So we have this nice big bit of open space because it's all pretty compact. So I think it's really important to have some green space in there. And there's a lot of different shops scattered throughout. So a lot of the shops are these smaller UK type ones. Um, and also a few others which you'll see. So I like this one because it has the little storefronts. It has the little pillars so people don't drive down there. I think it looks good. And it also has a backyard. So that's good. We've got a little bit of, bit of a seating area. 
and we got some more little shops so like I, I could just imagine ha them having like little markets here like every Sunday or something I don't know <laughs> that's just me yeah we have these larger buildings here as well and I wanted like some kind of larger building but I didn't want like a huge one because I didn't want it to like rival the city I didn't want it to be too huge but in my eyes these buildings are still pretty large and fancy but we still need to do this area as well so hmm and it's gonna look good once like imagine all of this but here as well and then you're having this canal oh it's gonna be look, it's gonna look so good We have this little bit in here which you guys saw as well and to mask the actual side of the canal I put in this this walkway so that's just the dirt walkway um, and then I just lowered lowered it down into place and put it on the side so it covers the side and that goes all the way down and follows all the way to the ferry station now I, I just put it like that but I probably I probably change that in the future um, so you come up to here uh, this is one big building, one big asset, and then I put in some smaller buildings because I thought I didn't want to do a larger building here because it's going to block all of their views, right? So keep it nice and low. Same for here as well. We got a higher building, didn't want to block their views too much, but I mean, even if they're on this side, like that's still going to be a good view of the canals and maybe some of the hills and yeah. <laughs> um, so we have a nice bit, bit of a roundabout with a wonky shape. And I tried to, like, throughout this whole area, I tried to put in little seating areas. Lots of little, just little areas, little nooks of stuff. So you can just keep a lookout and you'll slowly see just little seats everywhere and things like that. So we have this part in here, which is a nice open area. Just some food trucks. You know I love my food trucks. We've got some little food stalls and we've got olive trees. And I know what you're thinking, olive trees, really? But... I liked it and I like doing the odd shape because I feel like if you do it all really squarish it becomes really boring right so you need to break it up with some curved buildings like I've done with this one and like this one here and these guys here and then like this shape here as well um, this is one big shopping center a hundred workers well it's not that many but I think it suits it really well because it has the little seats it has like the curved corners which it looks really like commercial um, and then from this side down here it also has the curved corner as well which fits really well in with this shape of the the roads as well and I didn't plan I, I put down the roads first and then I put this and I was like oh my god that actually fits really well so that was really lucky um, come over here we have the big marina again so if you want this marina it's called the marina and hotel um, it doesn't actually function as anything. I think oh, it's just a tourist attraction basically. And then all of the yachts and boats and sailboats and things like that, you have to download yourself, which is annoying because it takes a while to put it all on there. Come through here, like I said, put some buildings on top of the marina to just to make it not look the same as that guy. And then we come down here, we have another little seating area, and then this is probably like the main area. I mean, it's not much, but since it is a roundabout, all of the traffic is going to meet here. It's kind of where, <laughs> where it's all going on. So these are all commercial. I put in some seating areas and I was like, well, I'll leave this up to you guys. Should I make this into like a seating area? Um, maybe put on, put on some fences and things like that and basically open up the area to the public or should I keep it like this because the only concern I have is they have to cross this main road so that's that now come down here this side I feel like is more bushy we have a lot of trees so we got this big guy here and I thought that fits well because of the curve on the train track um, this guy here now I th I think, yeah, that's an office building because it's right on the train track. I think this one is commercial. I mean, residential, yeah. Uh, and then the rest of these are all commercial as... Uh, why am I saying commercial? It's residential. Residential. So these guys have a pretty good view, actually. You can see all the hovering cargo ships. And it's very green looking, isn't it? It looks really nice. Look at that. Nice. Very nice. Very nice. And we've got just a bit of a big open green space. Didn't really put in too much detail because I couldn't be bothered and then I just threw in some basics like that so that's basically it now what I wanted to do quickly is every time 
there's a ship that comes in or every time there's a train there's a huge influx of people sometimes there's a huge influx from the highway so what I need to do firstly is that you need to make the the drive coming in smooth to where they're going so obviously the main attraction is the cruise ship terminal so what we're going to do here is since we have the median in the middle I'm gonna say don't turn right and then I'll do the same for up here. This one can't turn right. If they do need to turn around, they can go down here to the roundabout or use that roundabout. Won't take that long to do it. And then also just to make them go through smoother. Oops, I'll make it so uh, it's that one. Actually, they shouldn't be able to cross through there as well. And then I'll do that one, that one, no crossing, no crossing. And then that should be smooth all the way through. Now, you might notice some of you are going to hate this, but I have a reason. Um, it's two lanes, and then it goes into a one lane roundabout. All of the roundabouts are one lanes. Reason being is because when this whole area is up and running, when I actually do the bus lines, what I'm going to do is, so let's just go to bus lines so you can visualize it. Um, where's the bus? There it is. So obviously we have two lanes, so I'm going to make this outer lane the the bus lane but I'm not going to make it so it looks like a bus lane because I didn't want that big yucky color so the inner lane will be for normal traffic and then the outer lane will be for the buses only and where the buses can stop and then once it gets to here the buses will hopefully give way and let all the other traffic go in first and then the buses will go and that's basically it so that's why there's four lanes and then it goes into a one lane big roundabout so um yeah that's the color that i was trying to avoid right there so it's fine we'll manage it should be it should be fine it shouldn't be a big deal i just didn't want to like i said i didn't want that that big color the big what am i doing with that delete i didn't want the bus lane color so what do you guys think of this whole area um this was just a quick recap video before I will start working on the other side. Now I was planning on doing a lot of waterfront homes, so low density homes right on the water. So like for example, I think there's a lot in Miami, like at the Gold Coast in Queensland. Someone was like, are you from the Gold Coast in Africa? And I was like, um, yeah, totally. Yeah, that's exactly where I'm from. But anyway, yeah, I'm probably going to do some of those waterfront houses down here on the canal so lots of little canals through here and we'll have to reroute the ferry away from all of that but that should be fine in terms of how it looks what do you guys think and in terms of what else should be done in this area please let me know because i am reading your comments and i'm getting all of that feedback so anyway that's all for this video thank you guys for watching don't forget to hit that like button comment subscribe whatever you want to do and i'll see you guys next time